welcome to Unorganized Mama. Today I'm going to share our meals for the week, or at least Monday through uh, Friday. And today is Monday, and I am going to make some stuffed shells. I've got my ground meat cooking right here. I'm going to put ground meat in it and cheese. I'm just going to make my own version of stuffed shells. I've never made them before, but my daughter saw them at the grocery store and she was like, Mom, let's do these. And we will have a side salad to go with it. So I'm just adding the pasta to the boiling water and I'm going to cover it so I can let it cook. And I'm going to get my chick shredded chicken and add the ricotta cheese and just mix it really well. And then I will start stuffing the shells with the ricotta cheese. To the bottom of this. This is just some um, spaghetti sauce that I had. First try. I'm just gonna add some tomatoes. Perla's adding the cheese right there in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and eat with my family, and I will see you tomorrow for another dinner. And today is Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, so we are going to have some chicken tacos. I've got my chicken right here. It hasn't boiled yet. So I'm just going to make a little bit of Spanish rice. Just a little bit. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and fry my corn tortillas. I'm gonna go ahead and shred it. I just added a little bit more salt. Um, I only made a dozen, I think. We usually eat about two dozen, but my husband and the boys are working late tonight. And I know this is probably going to be a lot for me and the girls, but I'm going to start building them. Isma's going to add some Mexican cheese right here. Add just to this side. Because some kids don't like cheese on their tacos. And these are some of the toppings we like to add. Sour cream, homemade salsa lettuce tomato and this is what our dinner looks like and i will see you tomorrow for another dinner and today is wednesday for dinner tonight we are going to have shrimp cocktail it is really hot outside and i wanted something refreshing so shrimp cocktail it is my some of the kids don't like shrimp cocktail so i bought them some of this shrimp and it's i've got some of it going in the air fryer already and I'm going to make them some rice to go along with it. I also bought some fish sticks for some of the kids. While the rice is going, I'm going to chop up my vegetables. I have some celery right here and one cucumber since it's just going to be me for, for my husband and I. some cilantro right here to add some of this crab meat we don't have any real crab meat otherwise I would add it but I'm just gonna use this imitation crab meat and I'm gonna chop up some purple onion or red onion red onion whatever you want to call it 
just a little bit. That's about it. We can't forget our avocado. And this is one of the kids' plates. Sorry, my kids got really loud. But this is what our dinner looks like with all the ingredients in there. This tasted so good and yummy and I'm gonna add some crackers, some saltine crackers to it and a little bit of lime juice. And I will see you tomorrow for Thursday's dinner. Welcome back and today is Thursday. For dinner tonight, I wanted to make some bean tostadas but I don't have any beans which is weird because we always have beans. So instead, I am gonna make some chicken, um, chicken tostadas, just a little bit of chicken. Maybe I'll add some more. All right, I've got my chicken here. I'm just, I forgot to add salt, so I'm gonna put some salt and I'm gonna shred it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of this water that the chicken was boiling in a little bit more seasonings cumin Just, no, no, no. so i was gonna add tomatoes to the lettuce but this is all i have and it's, it came from our garden, so I guess I don't have tomato. We're not gonna add tomato. I'm not gonna run to the store just for tomato. I'm gonna actually give these to this little guy. I've got a little helper over here, and he loves tomatoes. So he's gonna eat those tomatoes. Say, yum, do you love tomatoes? Do you love tomatoes? Look, so I guess we won't have tomatoes, but I do wanna make a quick sauce. What am I talking about? I can't make a salsa if I don't have tomatoes. I'll just, I do have these jalapenos. Jalapenos, I am just gonna roast them on my stove top and that's what we'll have. And my chilies are just about done. Look at that, deliciousness. I would spread a thin layer of avocado on top of these. But I don't, and our local grocery store usually has them, but they're either really green or really ripe. So I'm not even gonna bother. I didn't have any tomatoes, oh well. And some cheese. And I'm gonna add some sour cream. I'm gonna get some lettuce. Okay. And that is our dinner for tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and eat with my family and I will be back for tomorrow for our last dinner on Friday. Hey, welcome back to Friday. Yay, it's Friday, finally. So today I'm just gonna make uh, some corn on the cob and spaghetti and meatballs with some garlic bread. Just some frozen corn on the cob that I found at my local grocery store. My kids love this. Get an egg, some seasonings, some lorries. I always use this for everything. Ruby is singing if you can hear her. And I'm just going to boil these. I've got a few in here. Um, but tell me, do you guys boil your meatballs? I've seen people fry them. I've seen people put them in the oven, bake them. I don't know. I've always boiled them. So that's what I'm going to do here. Look at this rain. Look at the rain. It just started pouring. It's really coming down. Anyways, I hope this is enough spaghetti. I have just like that. Just a little bit. I probably won't eat spaghetti anyways, but I hope it's enough. And I got this out so I can 
make this too, just in case it's not enough. This is like less than half a box. It's like up to right here. So I'm going to see if that'll be enough. Definitely not going to be enough spaghetti for my family, but I do have that other pasta going right here. Anyways, I've got my tomato sauce here. I guess I'll save some for that. And I don't know about you guys, but to my spaghetti, I always add sour cream. All the time. It kind of like takes the tang off of the off the uh, tomato sauce. Well, I don't have very much. Well, that was the end of that. Look at that. It's gone. Well, sometimes I'll add like cream cheese. Maybe I have cream cheese. All right. I found a little bit of cream cheese. Well, I'm going to add. Oh, look at that. I'll add the rest of this. Oh, well. That'll do. That'll do. Shredded cheese. I have mozzarella today, so that's what I'm adding. This is the tomato sauce. This. All right, this pasta is already drained. I'm going to add it to the rest of this pasta just to bulk it up a little bit. I didn't even mix it well. Look at that. And this is a little bit of salad that I had. That's all that I had. Oh, well, apparently I need to go grocery shopping. And the garlic bread. This is all the bread that I have. I told you I need to go grocery shopping. And I went to my local grocery store today, but they didn't have any bread. Go figure. So, and I have a lot of hamburger bread. So we're going to use hamburger bread and a little bit of this bread that I have. This is a lazy way of doing it. Some garlic salt to this real quick. My garlic bread got a little bit overdone. Oh, well, we'll still eat it like that. And this is our dinner. Spaghetti with some bow tie pasta, some ground turkey meatballs, a salad, some corn on the cob, and some garlic bread. That's a little bit overdone, but that's fine. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I just want to say thank you to everybody. We are almost at 200 subscribers. Yay! Um, thank you to everybody who has subscribed. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.